slapping on the sunscreen, <laughs> having a wide brimmed hat, paint everywhere, <laughs> all over my knees, <laughs> ruining my running shoes. <laughs> Mostly it's about hope because there's a huge amount of hope now that I didn't have before. I, I actually I was very hopeful up until the very last minute when I realised I couldn't get a, a house loan. I thought I would be able to, so I, I, I psyched myself into a plan. I decided what area I was going to buy in and, um, and just worked my way towards it over a few months and then decided I'd ring the bank and, and do a, a pre-approved loan on the phone just to get a really rough idea of where I stood. And I stood nowhere. <laughs> it was quite a, it was a bit of a shock and I thought, okay, I'll try another bank and I'll, I'll, I'll raise my money a bit as if I've got a little bit more um, and see if I can borrow some. And, uh, you know, just, just made a few different scenarios in my head and tried again and nothing. And then it hit me, I wasn't going to get one. And that was quite a... I did a little bit of a downward spiral there for probably about a week and then thought, no, I'm not going to stay down here. <laughs> the kids really, it was having to move every, I mean we were lucky, we didn't have to move every year, but we'd move every couple of years because the developer would come along and, and we'd have to move out and it was that that I found most frustrating, was wanting to put a garden and fruit trees and um, know that the kids would go to the same school all the way through, things I didn't have as a kid and really wanted my kids to have. And I, each time I would talk to a landlord, one when I was considering renting their home, that was the first thing I'd ask, are you sure this is going to be fairly permanent yeah. or be able to be here for a number of years? Oh yes, yes, they'd say. And probably they were quite committed to the idea, but things change, they'd sell up or whatever. So. Yeah, so that's probably the biggest change for me is being able to stay put and making plans and look, eyeing up fruit trees in shops and going, mm, which one shall I get? Which one shall I save up for? Where shall I put it on the section? Things I couldn't think of before. So. The last house we lived in was definitely a, a dive. It was mouldy and um, damp and cold and horrid, but it, I knew that it wasn't going to be forever. I was ashamed, actually. I was ashamed, and that's not a nice feeling to sit with. It didn't matter how much I cleaned, it always looked dirty, you know, and especially in a bathroom. You really like a nice, clean bathroom. I didn't have a bath because I couldn't sit in the bath and look around the walls. It was just so, like, yeah. So it's really nice to be in a home that is not only is clean but looks it. And three days after we were here, my son got up and came into my room and said, Mum, the house is so dry. Because <laughs> a sweatshirt had fallen on the ground and he woke up in the morning and picked it up and it wasn't damp, it wasn't wet, and that was like a huge thing. For him and I thought, yeah, we've never known that, a home that's dry. <laughs> actually a great deal of uncertainty about how I was going how would I find a way to build a secure home for the kids a clean draft free secure home <laughs> that didn't have big holes and walls or were yeah so when you've got hope you've got reason to strive you've got reason to get up in the morning you've got reason to make plans and reason to give back out to people it's really hard to give out to the community and give to your children and give to, to whoever is in your life when you're struggling and when the hope's kind of with, just without reach. You know it's sort of there but can't quite get it. And so I think it, it helps the wheels turn beautifully when you give a family hope, the family give back out again in all sorts of ways. Mm -hmm. Parents give to the kids and the kids give to their friends and it just it goes around in the community, so it makes a thriving community. A hand up is when you support somebody into um, gathering skills and resources so that they can continue that journey um, further along the path than where they were before. Gratitude is a feeling I've had a lot of in the last 18 months since we've been here, and it's a beautiful feeling to be filled with. <laughs> I'm Sarah. I love the way the house is warm and dry. I love it 
that we still have a big section so I can practice my sports. Hi, I'm Naisha. I love the way the house is really dry in the room because of the HIV. Thank you, Habitat. Thanks, Habitat. Thanks, Habitat. Thanks, Habitat. Thanks, Habitat.